Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Game Brothers channel. Today video I'm gonna share my entire Christmas movie collection that consists 4K and Blu-ray. Let's get right into it because I have a lot of film to show you guys. The first stack are 4Ks and the rest will be Blu-rays. So the first one, Why the Bad, is a Christmas story. Probably gonna get a sequel really soon on HBO Max or it's already out at the time it's recording. And yeah, this is a good movie but it's overrated in my opinion because this film having played a lot on ABC Family, TNT. This film paid a lot, but it's pretty cool that this film got a, a 4K release. That is, um, you know, it's a classic. Yeah, I can understand that. And this is a film that by Bob Clark who did Black Christmas. Sadly, I do not own Black Christmas because I sold my Blu-ray copy because the 4K by Screen Factory is coming really soon and I do not own them on, on, on 4K. Love Black Christmas. It is so weird seeing the same director who did a Christmas story but also Black Christmas which is a slasher movie that's a Christmas story. GPKA die hard man, die freaking hard, fantastic movie that takes place in Christmas Eve even though it's an action movie, a full on 90's action flick starring Bruce Willis as John McClane and um, Anna Rickman as Hans Gruber, the best one of the best villains. 90s villains are amazing. Speed, Die Hard, and the other um, 90s action movie. This is fantastic. I love this movie so much. It's entertaining all the time. John Favreau's Elf, iconic. Will Ferrell is hilarious. James Caan is great. I miss him dearly. But yeah, Elf is, you know, iconic. It's over the top, but in a good way. National Lapoon Christmas Vacation. Written by John Hughes, fantastic movie. Also re really relatable as well because you got a scene where the grandparents come to visit to your house and stay there for Christmas Eve, uh, for Christmas. Been there, done that, I don't like it. I like when my uncle visited my mom's house and it's just, it's chaos. Love this movie, it's hilarious every time, it never gets old. Clark first was just wanting to have a good, a good Christmas to spend time with his family. Love this movie, love, love, love this movie. I'm so glad this got a 4K release. Pole Express starring Tom Hanks. In a very un uncanny valley, you know, animated stop mo well, motion capture animated movie. I'm really curious how this is going to look on 4K. Cause when this was announced coming out on 4K, I was like, how that can look? Cause I'm really curious. Cause the CGI on this is definitely outdated, um, for sure. But I love this movie. I grew up watching this movie. I saw it in theaters, um, when it back when. Back in the day, I love the music, especially when Christmas coming to town. I listen to that song all the time. And also this film Dr. by Robert Zemeckis as well. You know, it's just childhood, it's nostalgic, but I'm really curious how this is going to look on 4K. So that's the Pole Express. And then we have John Dante Gremlins. Love this movie. Love, 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 love this movie. It had the best both, both worlds with horror genre and Christmas film. Love this movie. It can go dark with this movie, um, because um, we got Phoebe Cage's character. Her character tells the backstory. It's so dark, but so riveting to watch. Um, but yeah, Gremlins love Gremlins. But this one is a masterpiece. It's a wonderful life. I'm not gonna say much because we all know what this film is. It is Nathan Hale's favorite movie of all time. I love this movie, and I cannot wait to watch it in theaters on December 18th, which I already bought my tickets to watch. Love this movie. Fantastic. It's iconic. I love, love the story and the relationship between George Bailey and Donna Lee character. I love everything about this movie and James Stewart is fantastic and Oscar worthy performance for sure. And we have a total opposite. We have Krampus, the naughty cut. I do own the Blu-ray cut because the Blu-ray has the Attica cut. This version, this release by Screen Factory does not include the Attica cut. So I got Krampus, the naughty cut. I love its cover. Yeah, I believe it th yeah, it does have the rest of co art, which is great. I really like this movie. I think it's underrated and yeah, that is Krampus. Now we go on to the blue rays. This one I have not seen yet, it's still factory sealed, and it's in my part of my to be watched pile. That is Christmas in Connecticut. This is a black white film starring Baba Stanwick. Um have not seen it. I heard great things about it. I cannot wait to watch it. A brand new Christmas movie that I have not seen, so that's that is exciting for me. Now we go on to the film that I have seen. First one is Little Woman. Fantastic movie done by Greta Gerwig, Sosa Wonen, Florence Pugh, um, Bob Odenkirk, um, Laura Dern, Mill Sweep. Great cast in a great movie. It is a Christmas movie because this takes place during Christmas at times. Love this movie. 
I was I was late in the party watching this movie, but it's fantastic. The Apartment, done by Billy Wilder, fantastic movie. I love this movie so so much. I, mm, The Apartment is a masterpiece. Please watch this movie. If you have not seen it. We have one of my many adaptations of Christmas Carol. We have the Joyce Scott, Scott version of Christmas Carol. This is really good. I believe this came out in the eighties, nineteen eighty four. Yeah. This is the 1984 version of Chris McHale. I would like to check out more of the live action adaptation of Chris McHale. I believe this one in the 30s and the 40s, I believe. We'd like to check them out. So far, as a, as a live action version of Chris McHale, this is the only one I have seen. I have seen Scrooge and I saw that Blu-ray, but this is really good starring Josie Scott as Scro uh, Scrooge. But yeah, Holiday Inn. Not a fan, to be honest. I do enjoy the musical numbers, but... Not a fan. Um, I really enjoyed it, but it's not really a Christmas movie. It takes place in multiple holidays, were um themed. There's fall, Halloween, yada yada yada. But I do enjoy it occasionally. But it's not my favorite, to be honest. The holiday that by um Nancy Myers, which is you know who made um the Parent Trap, which I love. I love that movie so much. Very nostalgic. Really wonderful, chill, relaxing film. Really great. Um, starring. A Cameron Diaz, Ken Whistler, Julan, Jack Black, great cast, and scored by Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer did the music, and also the um, director of photography is Dean Cundy. Dean Cundy did some photography on this. Really good movie. I really enjoyed it, but these two are masterpieces. Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Enough said. I mean, you don't need to know the same for me because we all know what Home Alone 1 and 2 is. It's iconic. And then we have the Blu-ray version, the studio release version of Krampus. Like I mentioned, this includes the ethical cut. The Screen Factory does not. It only includes the nutty cut. Um, I do not know why is that because I want to sell this, but I can because this includes the ethical cut. Really good movie. Love the practical effects. Um, creature design. Tony Collette, Adam Scott, great cast, great movie. Underrated. I like this movie. But Trick or Treat is better though. Oh, we got to get to pleasure here. Jingle all the way. I love this movie. Put the cookie down! Yeah. It's amazing. It's iconic. It's stupid. It's not great, too. Last Christmas starring um, Emily Clark and Henry Golding and uh, Michelle Yeoh and Emma Thompson, started by Paul Feig, I believe. Yes. Really good. I really enjoyed it. Very emotional, too. Um, powerful. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I actually like this movie a lot. Because the trailer didn't do it for me, but when I saw this movie last year, I believe, for the first time, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time. Emilia Clark is great as always. She's a great actress. Yeah, I had a great time watching this. Love Actually, which is great. You know, really great um, kind of anthology Christmas movie. Really great moments. Um, really, really great. I, ca I can't understand why people say it's their favorite. Um, because I was late in the party watching this movie, and I believe I saw this movie for the first time last year or 2020. Um, or 2020. Um, I'm not. I forgot about that. I forgot which date is, but I liked it. I like it a whole lot. And we have the original Miracle on 34th Street and the remake, written by John Hughes, starring Mark Wilson, Matilda, and and the wonderful Richard Attenborough as Crunch Gringle. Love both equally. If if you ask me, which is better, which is your favorite? It goes to remake. I love the remake more than the original, but I love both equally though. Um, wonderful, wonderful film. There's a moment in the scene I love that deals with a de uh, girl, a little girl who is deaf, and Richard Attenborough character Chris Gringle did it doing the sign language to her. That scene always gets me. Every time when that scene pops on, I would about to start. I was like, oh, oh, this is my favorite scene. This that's my favorite scene in this movie. I keep asking, I keep telling people, that's my favorite scene, right there, Grandma. Um, yeah, love both of them. Um, still, really good movies. Um, um, there's, there's not, um, how should I say, there's no battle. Um, I just love both equally. Transfer, this is an underrated gem, really good movie. Not great, to be honest, but it's a really charming little film about this little girl who found a deer who happened to be one of Santa, Santa's uh, reindeers. Um, really wonderful, charming little film. It is a low budget film, but it's good. Yes, I do own another copy of It's a Wonderful Life. It's the same movie, but the main reason why I kept this is for the extras. Um, for whatever reason, the still book does not include the extras that the Blu-ray um, has. Like, it had the making of It's a Wonderful Life, a documentary featured host by Tom Bosley. Um, that's not including the still book, so I keep in that for that. And also include the colorized version, which you know, it is what it is, but 
like I said, love this movie. I actually love this cover too, so yeah. Why not keep the Blu-ray release? And then we have White Christmas, which is really good. Um, really good. Um, I believe this is also starring Bing Crosby, right? Right, right, yes, Bing Crosby. I actually prefer this over how they end. A mile better, so yeah, White Christmas. Now we're going to animated Christmas movies. So the first one is the Illumination version of The Grinch, starring Ben and Cumberbatch. And this was okay. I do love the animation though, but it was okay. Obviously, I do own the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, by Chuck Jones. It's in the compilation set um, of other Dr. Seuss's work that turned into a TV specials on animated form. Um, I'm, I'm too lazy to grab that, but whatever it is what it is. I do have the Jim Carrey version, the Ron Howard version of the Grinch Stole Christmas, which <sighs> it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm mixed. I'm mixed with the live action The Grinch movie, but I, I, I always go to the original Doris Karloff and thought about Josh Jones version of the Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas because I grew up with that the most over the Jim Carrey version, so that's that. And we have A Charlie Brown Christmas, which is iconic, classic, and much watch in every December. And then we have the Rankin Bass section of the collection. We have it, um, the original Christmas special collection that includes um, Rudolph the Red Snow Reindeer, Frosty Snowman, Santa Claus has come to town, um, The Little Drama Boy, and The Quick of Hurts. This just came out on 4K, I might get that, but for now I have the Blu-ray. Childhood, childhood right here, especially without the original when you're iconic. And then this is my favorite Rack and Bass special we have, The Ear Without Santa Claus. This is the one that has the Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. This is iconic, wonderful, my favorite Rack and Bass special. And then we have Trust This Night Before Christmas. Really nice holographic slipcover. So yeah, that's my Rack and Bass collection. The other anime movie that is released by Artman plus Star Sony, Sony, that is All the Christmas. Wonderful, love this movie. So yeah, really cool slip cover. Love this movie. Now we're on the, to the last stack of the Christmas collection is Disney stack. So we have the the Santa Claus trilogy that includes the Santa Claus, Santa Claus Two, and Santa Claus Three. Not a fan of the third movie, but I'm a fan of the first two. I grew up with these two. Um, very nostalgic. Love the first two so much. Great set. I love this movie so much, except the third one. The third one is not great. And we have the Henry Selleck, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Classic, iconic, stop motion. Love this movie. It is a Christmas movie, not a Halloween movie. And then we have Sumi, if you want. And we have Mickey's Once Upon a, Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Um, I grew up with the original. The sequel is mm, so right, but the original is the way to go. Um, this came out a few years ago, you know. Yeah. Great stuff. And then the other adaptation of Christmas Carol, we have Mickey's Christmas Carol. This is iconic classic. This is the 2D animated movie. Great stuff. And we have the Muppets Christmas Carol, which is even iconic. Um, you know, what's the actor name? Um, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. I don't know why I'm blanking the name. But yeah, this is great. I um, grew up with that. And then we have the Jim Carrey version of Christmas Carol. So, thought by Rob Semekis using the stop motion and movie. And then lastly but not least in my Christmas Blu-ray collection that is Preps Landing and Preps Landing um, Naughty vs. Nice. These are shorts that was released I believe on ABC Family a couple years ago. Like we, they're really really short um, but they're great fun, really enjoyable. There you have it guys, that's my Christmas movie collection 4K Blu-ray. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care.